we're going to look at function notation with tables of data and we're going to do it using some data from smart home market research. Smart home devices are things like Alexa's and Google Homes and Nest Ring doorbells and things like that. Market research provides data and projections for the number and percentage of homes in millions with devices in the various segments of the market. In the table below, we actually have three different sets of data that all correspond to time going from zero to six. And time is the variable T, which is the number of years since 2016. The next line of the table is A of T, which stands for the millions of US households with smart appliances. So A for appliances. S of T stands for the average revenue in dollars per household with a security device. So that's S for security devices. That's the third line of the table. And then E of T is the percentage of US households with energy management devices. So E for energy, and that is the fourth line of the table. We're going to find several pieces of information in the table using function notation and then define what that means in words. So first let's find and explain the meaning of A of 3. What we're going to do is look in the A row and look where it corresponds to the value t equals 3. And that value in the table is 22.12. So that means that A of 3 equals 22.12 and remember that A is the millions of US households with smart appliances and T is the number of years since 2016. So we've got three years since 2016, that's 3 plus 2016, that's tw the year 2019 and the value of A of 3 is 22.12 million US households with smart appliances. If we put that together in 2019, there are 22.12 million, don't forget the million, U.S. households with smart appliances. Okay, now let's find and explain the meaning of S of 4. So we'll look in the third row of the table, that's the S of T row, and we'll look for where it corresponds to a time of 4. In this case, the value is 195.13. This is four years past 2016, so it would be the year 2020. So we're clearly making a prediction since the current year right now is 2019. In 2020, we predict there will be 195.13. Now in this case, S of four stands for the average revenue in dollars per household with a security device. So this isn't the number of people, this is the average revenue per household. In 2020, we're predicting the average revenue per household to be $195.13. I'd encourage you to pause the video at this point and see if you can do the last three exercises on your own, and then just watch and make sure that you've got it. Okay, we're back. We're going to find and explain the meaning of E of 0. Go up to the table. E is the fourth row of the table, E of t, and we're looking for the time that corresponds with a time of 0. So we get a value from the table of 7.78. That is the percentage of U.S. households with energy management devices at time zero. Now that's going to be zero years since 2016. Zero years since 2016 would just be 2016. In 2016, 7.78% of U.S. households had energy management devices. Next one, let's find and explain the meaning of E of t equals 17.95. Now we're looking at an output value, so we actually need to look in the table in the fourth row, the E of T row, that's the percentage of U.S. households with energy management devices, and look for when it has a value of 17.95. In the outputs, we see a value of 17.95 that corresponds with the time equals 4. Four years from 2016, the E of T value was 17.95. In 2020, we predict 17.95% of U.S. households will have energy management devices. All right, the last item on the page, find and explain the meaning of A of t is less than 25. 
a of t is the second line of the table. That's the millions of US households with smart appliances. And we want that to be less than 25. So we look at all the output values and look for output values that are less than 25. And what we see is that um, for time three, the output value is 22.12, so that works. For time two, the output value is 17.86, so that also works, and so on, going all the way down to zero. At time four, the output value is actually 26.71, so that is not a time period that works, and above that, it continues to grow. We want all the years less than time is three, and the table starts at 2016, so we should just say that between 2016 and 2019, we have um, an A of T of, that's less than 25, so less than 25 million US households with smart appliances. Between 2016 and 2019, the number of US households with what was this? Smart appliances was less than 25 million. All right, so to recap, when we're reading a table of values, it's really helpful to first have all of your variables declared what they are exactly, because otherwise, as you get into the wording of things, you might find yourself getting confused, especially with so many variables in the problem. And then it's just really carefully understanding whether what you, the number you have in the problem is the input value or the output value. The input values are read along the um, independent variable row, and then whichever of the rows has the output value. In this case, there were three of them with output values or dependent values.